Hi right, guys, welcome back. You're back with us at Beamer and Sun Garage. We're on the porch. It's an enclosed porch. And uh, yeah, it's got my Ted Williams frame sitting there that I painted and went through a lot of uh, things getting the frame welded uh, to get my son to put together. Well, you see it there. It's been sitting here, I don't know, two, three years now, probably, or longer. And it sat over at mom's for longer than that. That's a Ted Williams frame. Sears and Roebuck, I believe. So we were doing that uh, fox body out here. Hoping it don't rain until we finish it here. We sealed the flex, or we sealed the flex. We sealed the sun rope, and also there was some metal around the sun rope that had holes in it, and we sealed it with some flex seal. Oh, sorry about the wind. It's, kind of, it's, it's coming in. I mean, you can see the difference in the clouds. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this finished before... It comes in on us. Just got a little strip, and uh, we ran out of flex seal, so we got some uh, gorilla duct tape, and we're going to finish it off with that. And it won't, you know, it won't stay, but not for very long, anyways. But we're going to try to finish it, anyways. Just got a little strip right there. That's got to be done. We're running out of material, so we have to go buy some. It's pretty uh, stout, though. This flex or this uh, duct tape is it's some good stuff. There we go. <laughs> it looks so bulky, and it is, but at this point. You know, I'm just trying to save the car, you know. More water's getting in there uh, than it needs to be. And so we put a little piece of duct tape here. And we flex seal it all the way, almost 360 degrees all the way, all the way around. Just other than just a little strip right there. So that should, uh, that should take care of the water. Getting there now. We had a new windshield put in this car, I believe. Yeah, I had a windshield put in it. I've done a lot of work to this car over the years. It's had top end rebuilt. Oh God. <clears throat> these tires that are on it are shot now, of course, but these were the speed rated tires were rated at 140 or something or 160. They're speed rated tires. I remember when I bought them, my dad was like, what'd you buy speed rated tires for, son? I was like, um, well, you dad, you never know. You might, uh, you might want to go 140. <laughs> yeah. I'd say we headed to 140 at least once, me and my great friend, uh, oh, Joe Rumpy, and his, his nickname was Psycho. Me and Psycho had this thing out, and we went to Daytona Beach, Florida in this car. It was, heck, I bought the car just so we could go to Florida. It was strange when I bought the car. It uh, it already had a palm tree on the corner panel, and I bought the car so that we could take this thing to Florida so I'd have a you know piece of transportation that after the trip was over, I'd still have something left over from the trip. And this car is what I used, my, uh, some of my money that I got from retirement out of uh, West Claremont School District when I quit that job over there working on school buses after 11 years. Kind of crazy. I ended up going to back uh, to work for a company that Laidlaw actually that took over West Claremont's transportation, a company called Laidlaw. They own Greyhound. They own Greyhound. I don't know if they still do or not, but they own Greyhound. So there you go. Black seal and some grill tape and voila. <laughs> uh, GT 5.0 time machine. A car that we just, uh, you know, love around here. It's all of them around here. We love them all. I'm always really get windy. Got that sealed up, so that should probably keep the water from getting in it anymore. We're going to take all the interior out, the seats and the carpet, dry everything out and fix any rust. I know it's got a hole in the floor. Pretty sure it does. I mean, it's got a hole somewhere. Might be the firewall, but I remember seeing a hole in it one time. It was up on a lift. So we'll see you in the next one, guys. Uh, check out my friends, like always. Jamie Phillips, Axis Auto Parts. Scott Speed Shop. Uh, Bear Rose Garage. Our buddies at Buck, uh, Buck Does It. Uh, of course, H&H &H Hot Rods and Horsepower. Judd Bostick. Check his channel out. As always, Two Hats Garage, Jethro. And we'll see you in the next one, guys.
fly by and you know, we'll get a flywheel for this truck here and try to get this this monstrosity back on the road it had a fuel and a spark issue so we're going to try to address all that probably going to rob parts off it for right now to get eleanor going i'm going to take the hci distributor out of here and put it in eleanor and try to get eleanor up and going see you in the next one guys bye bye catalina you put brakes and had to, had to rewire the whole car practically it's getting sparked but just lost the heater turn signals lights tail lights headlights you know brake lights lost all the accessory stuff so it's raining we're going in see you in the next one guys bye bye sam one that's a sam girl sam kitten what's up girl <laughs> yeah say girl she comes running see you in the next one guys bye 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 well, I got some of that growth over there, but I still got a lot more, about half. Got about half of it. My back's hurting, so we're going to take a break. See you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's a 70 Roadrunner, too.